Welcome back to Photoshop Basics on PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to start working with the brush tool, one of the most commonly used tools in Photoshop. On the toolbar, you will find the brush tool here, and the basic options are always on the control bar for the selected tool. So, what are the most important properties of a brush? First of all, the color that you select to draw with, which is always the foreground color. Why do we have two colors in Photoshop, a foreground and the background color? The background color is a pre-selected color that we can easily use by clicking on this arrow and swap the two colors. Or you can use the X key on your keyboard to quickly jump or swap the two colors. You can always go back to the default black and white colors by pressing D on the keyboard or clicking on this little icon here. If you click on the foreground or the background swatch, you can set a color. I will set a blue color now for the foreground and I will set red for the background. So now if I start drawing, I draw with blue and if I press X, I can draw with red. So as you can see, this is a really fast and easy way to work with two colors. After setting up the color, you should also be aware of your, the size and the hardness of your brush. These two options are here in the options bar, the size and hardness. You can change them here, but the better way to change them is a keyboard shortcut. You can use the bracket keys to change the size and shift bracket to change the hardness or even better if you press and hold down control and option on Mac and then click and drag to right or left you can change the size and if you drag up and down you can change the hardness. If you press the bracket keys only it will do the same but a little bit slower than this keyboard shortcut so once again it's control and alt on Mac and click and then right left changes the size up and down changes the hardness on PC it's not a left click it's a right click so now I'm drawing with a soft edge brush and if I want to change the hardness I use this keyboard shortcut and now I'm drawing with a hard edge brush. So you see the difference between a soft edge brush and, an, and a hard edge brush. You can also change the opacity of the brush here in the control bar. I just change the opacity and now if I start drawing there is also another important property of the brush which is called the spacing. Now I just delete these and if I start drawing you see it's not that nice because there is not enough spacing for this brush. If I click on this icon I will jump to my brush panel and here I can change the spacing if I go to brush tip shape and change the spacing down here. The spacing means that Photoshop will put more or less points down while I'm drawing with the brush. So I, if I move the spacing down to the minimum value, which is 1%, and then I start drawing, you can see it's a nice and continuous flow. I just change back the opacity to 100, and I also change back my colors to black and white by pressing the D on my keyboard, and I delete these lines. I make my brush smaller, and I would like to show you also that you can add dynamics to your brush if you have a pressure sensitive graphic tablet. You can also do that in the brush panel by clicking on shape dynamics. And this little preview shows you what happens. So before and after. And you can see that if I now start drawing with one brush stroke, I can easily change the diameter of my brush by changing the pressure on the tablet. This is something that you won't be able to do with a mouse. 
and also the coordination of your hand is much better with a pen than a mouse. If we go back to the brush panel, I can also show you that you can change the roundness of your brush like this and if you also use an angle here you can see the preview you can easily create your own calligraphic brush which will help you to write like this you can even save custom brushes in Photoshop I will just simply change this brush back to the original brush and I put down some dots close to each other but random uh, dots like these and then I use my rectangular marquee tool for making a simple and fast selection around them and then I go to edit and I choose define brush preset I can name this brush but I just simply click on OK now and I delete these dots here and I go to my brush panel and in my brush panel I will find that custom brush that I just saved. I need to change the spacing for this, I just set it to 1% and I also apply a shape dynamics and a transfer or an opacity dynamics. Then I change the size of this brush with the keyboard shortcut and now if I start drawing you can see we created a great tool to draw hair or fur. This is mainly what you need to know to be able to start working with the brush tool and in the next tutorial I'm going to teach you another very useful tool, the type tool. Thanks a lot for your attention and make sure that you join me next time.